Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from Ion Software. In today's tool tutorial, I'm going to show you a very basic use of the Volume Mask tool, part of the trio of position tools in Fusion. Let's begin. First, let me show you a beauty pass render generated from a 3D application. Now, in the past, at the compositing stage, if I wanted to apply a mask color correction to change the look of the beauty pass, I would have had to do something like this. Apply a color correction, apply an effect mask, make adjustments to the mask, track the image, connect the mask to the track, and of course continuously and tediously adjust the mask shape over time to specific areas I want affected by the color correction. Now working in this method is very time consuming and there's no additional information for me from the 3D render to help me out with this process. Of course my other choice is to go back, recreate the look in 3D, but that really locks me into the final look without the flexibility of continuous adjustments. Or I can just use Fusion's volume mask tool. Here's how the volume mask tool works. First of all, you require a world position pass render in the 3D application of your choice. Now, if your 3D application does not offer this feature, don't despair. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to create a world position pass from a Z map. In this example, I'll show you a visual representation on how the world position pass works. If you take a look at this 3D torus, it represents the coordinates in 3D space. X is mapped to the red channel, Y is mapped to the green channel, and finally, Z is mapped to the blue channel. I'll do this by applying these coordinates in the channel boolean tool. First connect the output of your RGBA beauty pass render to the background input of the channel boolean tool. Next connect your world position pass render to the foreground input. Let's set the RGB channels to do nothing, as those are channels from the beauty pass and they can remain as rendered. But now I can switch and enable the auxiliary channels as I said, and I'll map the X to the red channel using the foreground input. Y is mapped to the green channel, and finally Z is mapped to the blue channel. And now the fun begins. Let's add a volume mask tool. The controls in the volume mask tool are probably similar to other masking tools you've worked with before, except for one big difference. Watch this. If I use the pick button in the translation tool and drag it over my view, I can now pick my mask position in true 3D space. This happens because this tool derives its data to create the mask from the world position pass. And the volume mask tool gives you significant control over the base shape, size, position, softness, as well as Z-slice control and color of the mask. Now one of the brilliant time-saving features about this volume mask tool, as I said earlier, is that it works in 3D space, so objects that are blocked behind other objects, or occlusions, can be masked. Here's an example. First I'll add a color correction, then I'll pipe the output of the channel boolean into the color correction. Next, I'll make a simple adjustment to decrease the overall gain of the image. What I'll do next is jump back into the volume mask tool and select the color tab. By enabling the mask only checkbox, it forces only the mask to be output from the volume mask tool. A simple connection to the color correction tool's mask input and an inversion of the mask, we now see the area defined by our volume mask tool affected by the color correction. The real power of this feature is shown if we jump back to the beginning of the shot. You'll notice that the color correction is representing a simulated pool of light, but it can't be seen until we move ahead in the shot. This is the real power of masking in 3D. Masked occluded objects are obeyed because the volume mask tool can work with the image data of the world position pass. As always, for more information on the Volume Mask tool, consult Ion's VFXpedia site at vfxpedia.com. Thank you for watching this short presentation, and we'll be comping with you and Fusion next time.